Here we are on MrPetit.net. I'm going to click on Web Design. I'm going to click on Assignments. And this is the assignment we're working on right now. The power of rainbows. So here's some sample code I can use. I know this looks confusing right now, but this is the code that we're going to use to make this web page. Now before we go ahead and get started, you need to go to your computer. You need to go to your student number file. This is your M drive. Your student number will be here. Mine says my name, W Pettit, but yours will be your your M drive. You're going to open it up and you're going to make a new folder. Your new folder should be called Web Design. You're going to save everything you make in this class in this folder. Web Design, open it up. There we go. An empty folder for all your stuff in this class. There, that's good. So now let's go ahead and copy this code. We're going to right click and copy and we're going to put it in a program that'll help it become a web page. So we're going to go to Start, All Programs, and then we're going to scroll down to Notepad++. There we go, Notepad++. Right-click, Paste, and here's our code that we just copied. Now I'm going to change the language. As you know, the language we're coding in is called HTML. There's lots and lots of languages out there, but we're using HTML. And it color codes it so that the tags are blue, the attributes are red, and words that show up are going to be black. Pretty sweet. So now let's save it. I'm going to click the Save button. It's going to ask me what I want to call it, and I'm going to call it 2. Why 2? Because as you can see right here, uh, when I go to Web Design and Assignments, it says 2.html. This green part right here, that tells you what you're supposed to call it. So we're just going to name it 2. HTML just means it's a, it's a web design file. So we're going to call it 2. Run over this way, and 2. See, HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, it's going to be in HTML. So just two. And we're going to go to My Computer. We're going to save it in your M drive. We're going to put it in Web Design. And we're going to hit Save. Pretty awesome. Now it's saved. Uh, so we have this file open right here, as you can see. This is our code. Right here we have what we're trying to make, our code. And now we need to see what it looks like if it's being interpreted by a browser. What does this look like as a web page? So we're going to open up computer, M, double click. We're going to go to web design, and here it is. Looks like an internet file. I'm just going to double click, and it opens it up. There it is. See? Pretty sweet, huh? Awesome. So here's my web page. So I can go back and forth between this, like this this way here. Go back and forth and change them if I want to. It's pretty great. Let's go ahead and change some. The A. If I remember right, the A needs to be an orange color. So I'm going to go ahead, type in HTML color here, and search for it. And you'll see we have HTML colors. Come down to a nice orange color. How about FF6600? It's a nice orange here, FF6600. So we're going to go to the code. This is the R that's red. So now we're going to go to the A. Font color equals number sign. FF6600. After the A, I'm going to end it with that forward slash font. And then I'm going to save. Save. Come over here and refresh. Now it's orange. So whatever I change over here, it's going to end up changing over here. Red, orange, yellow. This next one should be yellow. So before the I. And. Um, Let's go ahead and do word wrap. If you go to view and word wrap, you can click here. And now, instead of just going on forever, it's going to come down. It's very useful. So before the I, we're going to go, we need to make this yellow. So I'm going to go font color equals FFFF00, because I happen to know that one. After the I, we're going to go end font. And then I hit save. Come over here and hit refresh. So as you can see, this is how you're going to slowly change all of these things. The power of rainbows, and you're going to make it look like this one. Rainbows have six main colors. Put all those colors in. And the way you're going to make things go down, by the way, is by using the BR tag. So if I have red, orange, yellow, and I put green, and I just like put it down like this, even though it goes down here, it's not going to go down in the end. So you save and refresh. you got to make sure you have a BR tag. And there you go. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy.